Charlie Cannon, Charlie Cannon, boom, 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 we are not pirates. Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of Super Calling Game Super Smash Bros. Spring Break Bowser Amiibo Challenge, where God willing will defeat anyone. Just just uh, even anyone. if we get a kill, I'd be happy. Right, mm -hmm. right. We're not mm -hmm. making a whole lot of progress. I would almost say that we're just doing this so that we can continue to answer people's questions <laughs> because our, no, our no goal bad. is frivolous. No, it is not. We can defeat them. We will defeat them. <laughs> we will fight them in the air. I'll see you. The good yes, news Derek, is we always like to deliver that whole monologue for us. <laughs> we always beat them when it's all three of us. That's right. So at the That's very right. least, we're that good. It's it's good to know that when we gang up on people, we demolish. They yes. are not even worth it. Uh, Jordan, who's going first today? Ben is going first uh -oh. today. Oh, here it no. is. Here it is. And all who right. shall our terrible opponent be? Number two, you oh, two. Me two. You two. All right, we have to. That's uh, the first Mewtwo, right? Might be, might be. What okay. do we have to do to make oh, that happen? No. Oh. <laughs> Ben's fighting everyone. I don't, I don't uh, want to guys? fight everyone. Well, no, wait, no, we, we just. Choose the one just... that you wanted to leave connected. Right. Oh, Schneikies. <laughs> Schneikies. What is Schneikies from? I think uh, it's from Dude, Where's My Car, isn't it? Jay, I want to set up uh, the Amy Bill Holy first? Schneikies. I feel like is it's it? a Jim Carrey quote. Uh, Ace Ventura? Could be. That sounds about right. Yeah. No. Okay, there we go. Now it's Mewtwo. Okay. All right, brother. <clears throat> Best of luck. Pokemon v Pokemon. Incineroar. Oh, Incineroar's got some mad eyebrow I, game. I, I thought he does. By the Chris and some pets, Farley man. in the movie Tommy Boy. No! Oh, that's oh. exactly what it is. No, oh, God. My God. So it's just some word that he made up, and now yeah. I say it. No! Oh, oh, wait. You got him. You got him too. Counts. That counts. <laughs> Still oh, counts. Oh. <laughs> that's the fastest you've ever killed anyone. How did? How did? What did? He, he, uh, that was Ben's best hit. He, uh, Ben's best hit. <laughs> I did it, you guys. I oh did no. a thing. I literally didn't even see it happen because oh. I was. Oh, oh that me. seems. What? You. what? That oh my was, God. I can't even. I'm so happy you just got him that one time. At first, I thought you just killed yourself. Then I was like, wait, Ben survived. Well, and then, I, and then I, died. I, I, yeah. <laughs> you got him first. Oh, could it be again? All right. Well, now that no. we are a decent amount. Through this battle, yeah. Um, yeah, what's our, question our question today is from Carlin. Carlin. Hey, what's hey. a good name? Carlin spelled with a Y instead of an I. Okay. Uh, oh, well, a little fancy, a little fancy, but no big deal. Carlin. Yes. Uh, so Carlin says, my girlfriend and I have been dating for over six months and have been very serious about our relationship from the beginning. Yeah. Oh. About a week ago, we got talking about engagement and how we wanted to eventually approach that. Right. My questions for you are, how young is too young to get engaged? Uh, how young is too young to get married? Oh. And how soon is too soon? We're both 21 and going into our last year of college. Oh, Thanks goodness. so much, Carla. Okay, you know okay. what? A lot of people are gonna tell you it's too young. Um, for sure, that's what they're gonna say. Cause you don't have like jobs oh, no! or probably a house or Money. I tried. Uh, all <laughs> of like which are things resources. that help. Yeah. I think mean, they're all the things that are help marriages <laughs> go. But that being said, um, my brother-in-law, <laughs> Beth's brother, so they got married or they got engaged in college and got married the summer before their senior year, and they're awesome. So I don't know. It can definitely be done. I know even when they got engaged, people were like, maybe yeah. you should wait until after you graduate to actually get married. Uh, sure. They were like, nope, and they did it, and it was an awesome wedding, and everything's been going great. Everything's so far. been going great. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, because okay, so I think there's something to be said. Because one thing I will say about uh, your brother-in-law is, I feel like he had this like find himself mm -hmm. breakthrough yes. prior to all of this happening. Like For I feel sure. like he was a person, and he had like certain behaviors and habits and stuff, and then he had this like breakthrough where he just sort of like all of a sudden grew up really quickly. For sure. Um, it was, he had like a, like a really good like personal growth summer or something. Yeah, I think he, he uh, went through a situation where he like initially just went to community college and then uh, I think worked like a summer or something at Home Depot and was just like, this is not how I want the rest of my life to go. And it, like, just sort of like totally, yeah, turned him around. He got really involved with like church stuff and uh, I mean, he went to like a like a Christian college and stuff, 
Like do you, I, I guess my, my question there being though, like, so maybe age doesn't always matter, but like, mm. I would say I sort of like found myself closer to like age 26. Sure. Oh, okay. Like, I, I feel like I didn't have like the like major breakthrough, like starting to understand who I really am as a person until later. So like, I think for me, if I had gotten married at 21, it would have been too early. If I had gotten um, married at 21, it would have been to the wrong person. <laughs> right, right, right. And so I would say, like, when I was in college, I remember, um, like, I think, I, I entered, like, a really long-term relationship when I was 19. God, Derek. Oh, and, oh, oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that the, was, like, a pixel off. You would have yeah, smashed him out I, the uh, screen. Oh. But that, like, when I entered that relationship, it was, like, I was in college, and it was just, like, the person who I got along with the best. But, like, at no, no part of me was uh, entering that relationship thinking like, this is the person I'm going to marry. Right, but like, then years later it was just, they were still there. Right, 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 right. Like yeah. it, it, we had aged into the point where it was like, mm -hmm. maybe this is the person you're supposed to marry. Uh, and it, it like that, you know, well, it wasn't the right decision, obviously. Right. Um, <clears throat> so I feel like it, it can be so interesting. The, what do you think about the six months thing? That they've only been dating? Wait, yeah. have they only been dating six they've months? They've only been dating six yeah. months. Oh, okay. That seems a little premature. Well, uh -oh. well uh, so can good. I offer well, like no, a, a counterpoint oh, to the, the young thing? Yeah. I love how he waited till you were like less dazed so you could feel the full brunt of that. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you are with the <coughs> right SRS. person, why are you in a hurry? Oh, sure. Yeah, there's something sure. said about that. Right, that, that's a good way to put it. Um, and I, I, some of it may depend on like what your customs are and stuff and what marriage means for how you're allowed to progress that relationship. Yeah, True. Uh, that's uh, a totally a fair point. Right, mm -hmm. like so like Alice and I are engaged, but we've lived together for two years now. Yeah. But I know like plenty of people wait until marriage to live together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so like for us- so you I, did that, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of waiting until you're married to live together, but I don't, I, I mean. It's obviously working for you and Alice, yeah. right? Quite right, well. So it's, yeah. I know that's not. I know that's. Uh, it's plenty not. Of people yeah. don't do it that way. Mm -hmm. I mean, every, every, like Luke <coughs> do, every Luke relationship sure is going to be yeah. super different. <coughs> yeah. uh, Sorry, Ben. Didn't mean to cut you off. In the and middle people of your are going to like. It's one of those things. People are going to tell you that it's too early because, like, to them it could be, but to you it might not be. Like, it's not like relationships don't work for literally ever if uh, you know they commit to that level right so early. And I, I think that there's a lot of. Um, oh, I thought he was just gonna die. Yeah, I thought right he was there. gonna die. <clears throat> like, I think one of the things that, that makes me sad um, about, like, me and Allie in terms of, like, I wish we'd started dating sooner. Sure. Because, like, she didn't get to be there, like, for the beginning of Super Carlin Brothers oh, right. to, like, see it all happen. Yeah, I. Um, so she sort of came in after after it had already become like a thing. So, like she never was able to you know be around for like the, the struggles. The struggles, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, very very real struggles. I mean, and given that you said that you didn't really find yourself as a person until maybe closer to twenty five, does that mean that she came into your life as a major player after that, or was she there for that? Uh, I feel I feel like it was sort of a simultaneous type yeah. of thing. Like the the discovery of her also came with me being like being able to break out of my shell a lot and become like a person that I I feel like was in there the whole time. But the uh, no, no. the established precedents didn't allow like the change to happen. Does that make sense? Like yeah. you like live within the confines of like the way your like relationships have been established, and so like. It can be strange all of a sudden to just make like a paradigm shift in your personality. So sometimes like a major life change is a way to do that. Um, and I think that's what happened with me in a lot of ways. So. Uh, we got him right there. Whoop. There it is. There it is. Jay, you are you are our only hope. Nice. Okay. There's one. So he's got me at 90 already though. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have to have a, a good one here. Yeah, my my. Thought, I guess that, that sort of integrates everything that you all said was like it's much less about like there's there's components about the relationship and making sure that you guys can can grow and, and live together for the rest of forever essentially but like it almost seems like you're asserting it's more about knowing yourself and knowing exactly what yeah. you want out of life Absolutely. yeah or you can find someone that you're ready and willing to share the rest of your life with Right, and okay, so here would be my other thought with in regards to oh like boy. the maybe shorter term relationship, because six months into a relationship might be that point where like the uh, the super fun, everything's exciting, might yes. be starting to like wear off a little yeah, bit. Yeah. 
Totally. And um, <clears throat> sometimes I do think people then reach, like, they want, like, another milestone because it will reinvigorate mm, that. Yeah, don't fall into that trap. Sure. Um, and so I do think that, like, I, I know people who, um, like, they live for the milestone. Like, they can't wait to have each of the next step happen. Right. Absolutely. Um, oh, crap. And it, it doesn't always coincide with... Um, with what might be perceived as the right decision, but more to do. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I want to have the next celebration. I want to. Ha- I want the next milestone. It's been too long since I've had a milestone. Yeah. Um. So there, there can be a lot to be said with that, and and I guess with what Jordan said earlier, maybe it's a good way to tailor it together. But you know, if it's like if it's the right person, the, then, yeah. there's no like immediate yep. rush, mm-hmm. and um. Depending on your customs, like you said. Right, right, right. right. Yes, <laughs> there could yes. be some rush. <laughs> they, right. Yeah. Um, well, so with my current significant other, um, we've we've had an issue before where like our schedules have been mismatched, mm-hmm. just like oh, yeah, when yeah. we work and, oh, gosh, and what our sleep schedules are and stuff, so and so that makes it much harder to yes. see each other, especially during the week. And no, we felt no, bad no, about no, that, no. but then I sort of had the realization of like, oh, shoot, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, super duper matter. Like we've got time um, for it. So I agree. So I agree. His little neutral air just yeah. sucks you in from so far away. Oh man. Uh, it's, uh, one of my favorite parts about playing the Amiibos though is I feel like it is a proper demonstration of how good every character can be. <laughs> like, it's yeah. like, oh my god, they're so OP. Like, they've got, like, way too many, like, abilities that pair so nicely, and it's like, no, that's just being good at the game. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. that's basically it. Oh. Uh, and don't forget to set it as a team battle. Team battle. Uh, oh, hold on. Need that. Yeah, we have to move Switch you to there. it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, We're it. sorting it out, there sorting it out. Got there. And Derek took himself on the uh, red team. And then... I was Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. And also, as much as I'd like to be on Mewtwo's team. Uh, oh, that would be interesting. That, that would be, be interesting. Yeah, what if we did? Yeah. Everyone, like, yeah. Whoever plays first has to play with the amiibo against the other two or something. That'd be interesting. Oh, boy, that would be. I feel like the, uh, the, other, the amiibo team would do that. Especially if you were on it. <laughs> That'd be awful. Yeah. <laughs> we just get rocked. Yeah, uh-huh, a little bit. Like Derek and I probably on most occasions can't beat Jay or the Amiibo. It does play a heck of a lot more Smash. I, I do enjoy the Smash. It's been one of my favorite games since I was in my second grade. I do that. Um, so jumping back a little bit to this question. Yeah, you, yeah, we, we no, sort no, of no, sidetracked. Right. Um, mostly just curious about your life. Um, Jay, when did you quote know that? Beth was the Ooh, oh, big question. It, that is a good question. Um, so Beth and I dated for a long time. Um, like she was my prom date, you know, and then uh, we went to different. Co- it was weird because we were long distance for a very long time and we went to different colleges. And um, then after college, you know, I moved back to Roanoke because she moved to DC for a year. And uh, I don't think I knew she lived in DC. Yeah, she was. That was like where her first teaching job was. No, I, now that I think about it, I knew that she lived in D.C., but for some reason I thought that had to, had to do with her college, and it super didn't. Nope, yep, just that she just wanted to try yeah. something out up there. And, uh, I, but then I am so out. impressed with you guys being able to work that out. My yeah, it, well, I mean, even the, after that, there was like one final little minor break up there towards the end, and it was sure. you know, um, Basically, what, what happened there was you know, there was like whatever final hurdles we had, we just still had not resolved, and they just sort of, I think... Left unattended, manifested in bad ways. But yeah, I um, ultimately we obviously worked it out. Now we're married. And everything's super awesome. But there was after that last little uh, thing, like you know, obviously I'm in this now. The point is to get married. Like the, the, we're not messing around anymore. We're all like in our mid twenties. Like what, what do we do? We uh, do we want to be together forever or not? And I remember there was actually a trip to. Um, it was the first con I ever went to. It was Playlist Live Tri-State. And I had to drive, like, all the way to New Jersey by myself one day. And it was a super long, terrible, boring drive. And I remember wow. just thinking before I went on that, like, I was going to spend a, a portion of that drive specifically uh, thinking about, do I want to get married? 
Yeah. Oh, and interesting. I don't know that you've ever told me this story before. Yeah, well, that is true. And I spent, I mean, I, that, I largely I just did that. It was, um, like, I just decided yes. <laughs> <laughs> Breakthrough! Was that the year you proposed? Uh, yeah, then that, that would have been, I think, I think that was in like November or something, and then I, or like early November, then I proposed in uh, early December. So pretty quick after. Ben, did you have a, a moment? Oh man. Um, this is taking a while, guys. Yeah. Longer than usual, I feel like. Yeah. Let's go. It's because it actually seemed like we didn't do that bad against them. I know. Um, what no, the, I. Like down or by his B or whatever, his air B, that's what it is. Yeah, the, the, the uh, air. is super strong and just hits everybody and it's just obnoxious. I, I don't know that I had like some type of crazy. Uh, Boom! Look at that. Crazy Way to like. Finish him, Derek. Yeah. Crystallized, holy crap, this is like the, the moment that it happened. Sure. Um, and I would say like I decided that I was planning Over to propose. In oh, I didn't know. I'm gonna need you guys, gonna need oh you guys to uh, <laughs> set it up here. And then you proposed oh, in died. March. In March. No, no, yeah. No, no, no. About so, six months. Yeah, so I, I remember at like one of the Virginia Tech football games, like Tyler was with me and I was like, so I went and looked at like rings the other day and he was like, no way. Uh, yeah, so that was in October and then about four or five months later before it actually happened. But uh, so I, I had known for like a long time that that was like my plan and what I was going to do. Um, it was a matter of getting through all alleys in the wedding industry, and so it was getting through all the cliche months. Sure, sure. So like <laughs> Christmas proposals, like You're Allie's like, nope, business nope. lives and dies by Christmas proposals. No right. kidding. <laughs> it's like January 1st, the door just gets knocked down. <laughs> well, then um, February 14th, there's gotta be a lot of Valentine's proposals. Yeah, nope, yep, right. I feel yep. like Valentine's proposals are the people who forgot to propose during Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> That's you why Valentine's right. Day is a holiday. Yeah, right, uh, uh, whoops. But yeah, so I, I actually remember when I was ordering the ring, it sent me like, it had like flashing lights that was like, this will not arrive by Valentine's Day. And it came on February 15th, and I was still like, we're too close. So no. March, March 1st was the date. There so you go. it was like, I need to get out of Valentine's Day month. That's amazing. And I was not willing to wait any longer than that. There you go. <laughs> so, well done. Yes. Well, yes. guys, we. I feel like we could beat Mew too. We got yeah, he felt in range. Ben, I mean, Ben, ben killed him within uh, seconds. seconds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Somebody, yeah. somebody clip and, and gif that, please. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Ben, ben actually getting some things that are getting rocked. Yes, oh, yes. There it is. Uh, and if I could only figure out how to just always slam somebody, we would totally have it, you guys. Right. That'd be great if you could literally time it, and like if you were somehow up two to one on him, and you could just yeah, slam him just like that. Just slam like him. Yeah. I, I mean, a yep. win's a win. Yeah. Yes, me. But guys, thanks so much for watching. If you uh, need advice on anything or have any questions you'd like us to answer, be sure to leave them in the towel section down below. Thanks oh. for liking and subscribing and whatever Ben was gonna say. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> normally we're so good at finishing finishing each other's sandwiches. Or um, no, I was just going to say that if you guys would ever like some extra bonus content oh. from us, every Saturday we have a, a Saturday morning cartoon episode where we talk about everybody's favorite breakfast and <laughs> we play each other and it's usually super fun. We have like a super lighthearted conversation. If you'd ever like to join in, you can do so by uh, supporting us on Patreon, which is patreon.com backslash supercarlingaming. That's it. Is the right one. We have yes. too many websites. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for your support. Chuck the cannons, Chuck the cannons, boom, boom, boom. We are not pirates.